So our step one when we're solving systems of substitution is to solve for one variable. Here is the system that we're going to work with, and it's already solved. We could have used this system, this sol way of solving systems with the last examples, but if you remember, both of those first equations were in standard form, and we would have wanted to solve them for y, so that y is by itself. In this case, we do have both of these equations where y is by itself. So we're going to, number two, substitute an expression into the other equation. So when I look at this original system here, I'm going to take this expression of x plus 5 and I'm going to plug it into the first equation as the y. <laughs> if the first equation is y is equal to 2x, I'm going to take this, which is also equal to what? Um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to plug it into this equation where the y was. Oh, equal y. Oh, I okay. And then, what do you think step three is? I think step three is probably solve, it, diggy, my diggy, solve for the variable. And the variable we're going to get out of this one is the x. So, I want to subtract this x and get it over here because that's combining like terms. <coughs> Excuse me. That's going to leave 5 is equal to x. x. Remember our solution is an xy pair. We have the x. We need the y. So number 4. Oh, you're right. I was looking at this too. Five comma, that would have been a mess. I would have had a really wrong answer. Thanks for the catch. Substitute that value into one of the original equations. It doesn't matter which equation. I'm going to choose the first one. y is equal to 2x is going to be y is equal to 2 times 5. So y is equal to 10. And again, as always, write the solution. Oh, I see it. I know why. You get it? As an ordered pair. Okay, well, this one was really simple because they both were equal to y already. Let's write a system that is not, and we're going to have to do some converting. This one is 2x plus y is equal to negative 4. And then x plus y is equal to 7, Oops, negative 7. Hmm. I need to take one of these two equations and solve it for one variable. Which one would you guys like to work with, the first equation or the second? The first one. Second one. Second one. Second. Okay. And do you want to solve for x or for y? Y. X. You want to solve for x? Okay. We always solve for y because of y equals mx plus b. So let's solve for x. So I'm going to rewrite this equation as x plus y equals negative 7. And if I'm going to solve this for x, I'm going to have to subtract the 
The Y. And I get X is equal to negative 7 minus Y. I just found my expression. This expression is going to get plugged into the other equation. I can't plug it into the equation that I solved with. You should plug it into the other one. So I'm going to rewrite 2x as 2x is negative 7 minus y plus y equals negative 4. So I've taken and simplified the second equation because you guys chose the second. We could have done it with the first. We simplified for x and now I'm going to take that value for x and I put it in where the x was in the first equation. You guys with me? Oh yeah, yeah. equal to x. That's that plugging it in. We plugged in what we found. Now we're going to solve this for y. What's 2 times negative 7? Negative 14. And 2 times negative y is going to be negative 2y plus y equals negative 4. I have to combine like terms here. I have negative 2y and positive y, so that's going to end up being y. negative y. Negative y. I'm going to skip down the line because my y's are, I have long tails. Negative 14 minus y equals negative 4. I'm going to move the negative 14 to the other side. Negative y is equal to positive 10. But is that y by itself yet? No. no. So you divide by negative one. I have to divide by negative 1. Yes. Which is well, you get y equals negative 10. Okay. And so my y is equal to negative 10. Well, it's not done yet. Because <laughs> we don't know what the x is. x is not negative 7 minus y as a solution. We just found that as an expression. So now we have to go back and take this y equals negative 10 and put it into the second equation where the y was. And we're going to find the x. x equals 3. So my ordered pair is 3 comma negative 10.